This review is on the movie Waiting for the Barbarians. I'm the angry guy. I'm going to tell you like it is. As usual, I began my research about this film with great enthusiasm. My eagerness quickly dissipated when I found out barbarians and British Empire conflicts happened in the 3rd century. I don't think they had sunglasses in Roman days. Then it occurred to me no specific location or the name of the empire was mentioned in the film. Basically, I came to a conclusion this film was not created for a historical drama, but to make a specific point. Director for the film Waiting for the Barbarians was Zero Gara. He is a director and writer known for the films Embrace of the Serpent, The Wind Journeys, and Birds of Passage. The cast and film was Mark Relance, a man who thinks he's going to have a peaceful retirement as a magistrate. Gardner Bayersika as the girl who showed up at the fort during the winter with two broken ankles and signs of a torture. Robert Pettison as Officer Maddo, a sheep who will kiss anyone's ass to get ahead. And Johnny Depp as Colonel Joel, who plays himself with lipstick and weird sunglasses. The film Waiting for the Barbarians is about a man, Mark Relance, during the 19th century in charge of an unnamed, isolated fort which was on the border of a no-name empire who was looking forward to an easy retirement by fulfilling his duties as a peaceful magistrate. During his tenure, the biggest crime in the fort was a pig invading a neighbor's garden. Can you imagine? That was until a dickhead came parading inside the fort, strutting fully outfitted soldiers, riding horses, and pulling a black decorative stagecoach was Colonel Joel Johnny Depp inside. The colonel told the magistrate, as a police officer, the Empire wants a report on the activities on the barbarians and the security situation on the border. The magistrate told the colonel, there hasn't been any trouble with the barbarians for years. The magistrate thought it was odd. Colonel Joel was to create a report on the barbarians, but failed to inform the magistrate his true mission. The magistrate finds out quickly with devastating results. I feel contentious about this film, expecting the historic drama and received a poignant view on imperialism, which is still going on today in today's world. Second act was a downer and the entire film was boring until someone took the hat off of a dead soldier. They put Robert Pattinson and Johnny Depp on the credit list solely for the American draw. How long were each of them on the screen? You tell me that. Anyone wants to guess how long an audience member has to wait to see the barbarians coming? May I ask you a question? Who were the true barbarians in this film? Out of 10, I give this film a 6.8. That is a D plus in my world. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you so much. And thank you for commenting. Thank you.